Hi guys, so big news coming out from the smartphone and Android sector as Google has suspended its services with Huawei. Now this is coming after a ban by the US Commerce Department citing national security concerns. Now we know that Huawei is an international company or brand and then it has customers all around the world. So right here on Texas to Discuss, we will be discussing what this ban spells for its customers in Nigeria and the Huawei company at large. I'm Shaliwa Williams. I'm Delarose Okoji. I'm Dolako Inuadi. Welcome to Tech City Discuss. So on May the 19th, 2019, uh, big news reached people basically around the world about the US ban on the Chinese company. Now, there have been loads and loads of speculations about why this ban was issued in the first place, although the US has cited national security concerns as its reason for its ban. But um, <clears throat> we also understand that, um, you know, when two elephants fight, the grass suffers. So US and China are two large economies who are always at loggerheads for one reason or the other. But as Nigerians, we're trying to bring it home now to understand what this really spells for Nigerian Huawei customers. So my own take on it is um, Nigeria as a whole, we've always mm. depended on other countries or other economies to further our own. Mm. So like, we know that Huawei is actually a very big brand in Nigeria. And this really affects us because it's like an eye opener. We don't have our own thing. We don't have any, I don't think we have any company that has its own operating system, even mm -hmm. if we have Nigerian brands when it comes to um, mobile phones mm -hmm. and all of that. But we don't have our own operating system. We don't mm -hmm. have anything that we can rely on. Mm -hmm. And I was just thinking about this thing. If this happened to Samsung or Techno mm -hmm. or any other big brand mm -hmm. out there that is really dominant in Nigeria, mm -hmm. what will happen to Nigeria when it comes to mobile phones? Mm -hmm. So, like, that's just the question. When mm -hmm. are we going to actually make our own stuff mm -hmm. when it comes to things like this? Mm -hmm. So it's good that you mentioned that point because, I mean, talking about the ban, it's not like the U.S. is totally severing ties with the Huawei company or something, but Google is withdrawing its services based on the ban. And we know that uh, Google, uh, YouTube, Gmail are American companies. And then we join that means that the Huawei cannot use those services. But Huawei um, operates in China, right? That's where, you know, mm -hmm. the company is. That's the um, home country of uh, the, um, brand. the brand. And um, it operates in China using other apps. We know apps like Facebook are not, are not available in China. So, I mean, if Nigeria had other apps that it could operate on, this ban wouldn't have really, you know, hit yeah. us like it's done yeah, now. Exactly. So. I think that um, it's a slightly much bigger or larger conversation than just, oh, what are we trying to develop locally in the event that things like this happen? Uh, because on one hand, while it is quite sad that the U.S. government is somehow trying to, you know, uh, control how much power the Chinese government is having or the Chinese economy, you know, how, how it's growing. Um, I think that it's also uh, political and it maybe defeats the essence of technology. Technology is mm -hmm. global, right? Yeah, Things global. that are created from different parts of the world should be able to be used by other people. Now, beyond the fact that Huawei is affected and Google is withdrawing its services, well, when I read some reports around, you know, the ban, I saw that beyond even Google, there are other companies who are deciding to pull their support from Huawei. Snapcom, uh, Quadcom, Intel. I think, Broadcom, Intel are also threatening that, oh, well, because the U.S. government has said we should do, mm. you know, uh, mm -hmm. Huawei it needs to be uh, is, is on that list of, you know, it's Chinese, um, quote, unquote, enemies. There's no better word for it. Mm -hmm. um, then we are also going to see their ties with these guys mm -hmm. as well. But you would find that on the Huawei device, the chipset, for instance, is sourced from different parts of the world, mm -hmm. not yeah. just China. Mm -hmm. So American companies as well are going to be affected somehow. Yeah, and it defeats true. the essence of the, 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 the borders that technology has helped us to break. If yeah. somebody can create something as, you know, in as deep a place as maybe Kenya, for instance, and it can be used on a on an OS somewhere in China or in the US, that is what technology definitely drives. The innovation, mm. the, uh, the, the connect, connect Exactly, all of that. And so this, it goes way beyond that. And even mm. looking at it, you know, the Nigerian example, though I've heard that um, if you're using a Huawei device, it doesn't mean you cannot use any of these devices. Mm -hmm. It's just that when there is an update, Updates. you don't get it. Mm -hmm. So where does that leave us? Mm -hmm. So I think that we need to somehow try to hold the U.S. government accountable. Mm -hmm. Because if we see this happen, I don't think there is any way this can be, you know, uh, reversed. reversed. Mm -hmm. But you would find that 
when people see that the government can have that much power, mm. it is going to be used as a tool by other governments. Whereas, yes. like, if the government doesn't like you, we could perhaps just say, you know what, you are banned from our country, and that's mm. that about that. Mm -hmm. And it affects a lot of other things beyond mm -hmm. what we can even imagine. Yeah. I, I kind of uh, mm. like how the government has, you know, shown that it has mm. power. Mm. You know, but I think that that kind of power should be used the right way. What other conversations can you get into mm -hmm. with Huawei mm -hmm. that can, you know, help with the issue that you seem to have with them? Mm -hmm. Whatever issues they said they had, security, etc. Um, there have been worse allegations from other companies that nothing mm -hmm. happened to. Mm -hmm. So why is this now being some kind of a witch hunt of sorts mm -hmm. just because the company is Chinese? Mm -hmm. And again, when you look at it, the majority of the, the, the chips on their smartphones mm -hmm. are not totally Chinese. Mm -hmm. Some of them are American. Mm -hmm. So what happens then? It's, 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 it's unfair, to be honest. It's good that you mentioned the point of power because when I was reading up on it, um, I realized that it's something like this also happened last year, in mm. February of 2018, when the U.S. government told um, its citizens, the FBI, the CIA, the NSA, that they should stop using ZTE and Huawei devices, citing mm. something like this. Now, what was also uh, suspicious about this was they were also pressuring their allies mm. in not to use these devices. So, I mean, if something is a national security concern, then mm -hmm. you address the issue and it sticks to you. Exactly. When you pressure your allies not to use this device, then it means like, like a witch yeah. hunt. Companies like that, Apple yeah. also have chips on their devices that they source from outside the US. Yeah, so devices this is are assembled in China. There you so go. Just imagine if China just says, okay, we're not doing it. Mm -hmm. that's, that's Apple is dead. And that's... I guess, again, on the flip side, because I mean, we have to look at all the angles here. There are, con there are um, reports that, you know, this might push Huawei to develop its own OS. Mm -hmm. They say it's far from ready, mm -hmm. but I mean, at this point, they would have to speed up, you know, whatever research and mm -hmm. uh, development they are doing with that. So that's good on one hand. Yeah. Um, and I think that, you know, beyond just the, the, the lesson that we learn, you know, from a political and from a tech point of view, even from a life point of view uh -huh, as well, yeah. there are lots of lessons to learn. Uh -huh. Don't put all your trust in one person, uh -huh. right? Because now Android is no longer, you know, going to be supported on Huawei devices. And uh -huh. so um, how can you maybe prepare for a rainy day, uh -huh. for instance? Yeah, and, true. you know, what, what the options that you have, um, how confident are you in them, uh -huh. you know, to stick with you forever? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, that that for me, you know, the takeaway is just a very yeah. it's, but, it's but, beyond just tech. Yeah, to must also mention that Huawei has responded to the ban, and there is a released a press statement saying they are willing to engage the U.S. government to resolve the issue. It also reemphasized the fact that it's a leading 5G device, and um, you know, probably uh, Huawei was on well on its way to becoming like the most prolific smartphone device of the year. I mean, this. I think it was so already announced. Exactly, that, like, the P30 Mate, yeah. I believe P30 mm -hmm. Pro, Pro rather. Uh, had the best camera. Mm -hmm. so. Well, I think for Huawei, I think um, the fact that they are doing their own operating system now could actually mean a bigger thing for them in the future. Because mm -hmm. look at Apple. They don't have to depend on Google for their exactly. Android and all of that. Mm -hmm. So it may be a new Apple revolution happening mm -hmm. with Huawei. Well, that took like, a long time. Mm -hmm. And is the world ready to, I don't know, no, but nobody this, knows. Mm. So hopefully, you know, we just hope it goes well. I mean, and, and from the marketing point of view, I can round off on that. Um, you know, People will now become wary of, you know, this type of brands that if I purchase this type of phone mm -hmm. and such a country like the U.S. decides to, you know, withdraw, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. then what happens mm -hmm. to me? So, I mean, from a marketing point of view, it's not so pretty, but it, it I really mean, is not. hopefully everything not, is resolved. I mean, would you not say is it? Gmail is not available moving forward. Yeah, so which one do you want to now use? Exactly. Like, I know I don't want them. Huawei mail. H mail. Do you use a Huawei device? You should be scared.